Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. A lot of people have been asking me when I was going to get to this sign here, so I figured I would get that done here today. It has just been such a crazy week that I just have not been able to get caught up. Um, so I'm going to make this similar to the Mary one that I did. Not exactly the same colors, but pretty similar. I did this one, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and I absolutely love this little guy here. He's so cute. So I kind of want to keep this in the same color scheme. I'm going to do the uh, lettering in the red. It's the Imperial Red. It's the uh, home decor chalk paint, the folk art. Um, I really like this color. And I'm having a really hard time finding chalk paint right now. Um, everybody seems to be out of it. But anyway, I got enough of that for this. And then I'm going to be using for the tree, I'm going to be using this Spanish moss color because I didn't want the real bright, you know, Christmassy looking green. I'll try to shake this up again. And then for the trunk of the tree, I'm going to use some of this Java Brown um, chalk paint. And then for the star, I am going to use this Summer Porch. I'm going to add a little bit of glitter on here just to make this thing pop a little bit. Um, I'm going to glitter up the star and we're going to put on some little, you know, like Christmas lights on there or Christmas balls, whatever you want to call them. And I have all this glitter here that I picked up last year at Michael's. They had it, you know, on that end thing there where when you're checking out they have all kinds of little deals. So I picked up quite a few of these. I love this real fine glitter. Um, it's so much prettier than the, you know, the bulky kind. This one's really cool. This one's kind of like green and gold mix. So I really like that a lot. And then I have a red here too. So I've been hanging on to these. I haven't used them yet. So then you're going to need, you know, a couple paint brushes here. Let me get this little tag off. All right, now this thing, the first thing you kind of got to do on this is trace out your tree and your star, you know, because it kind of, everything just kind of ends right there, and I want to have the whole tree um, on here and not just, you know, part of it. So I'm going to actually try, so right here I'm just going to end this tree, and then, you know, this is great because it's like paper and you can erase it when you don't get it quite right. So that's going to be the tree here, and then I figure the tree is going to end like at the bottom of this E here. So we're just going to make that kind of swoop up just a little bit. And then we do the same thing over here and hopefully can get them to match. So that's why you want to do it lightly, so if you want to change it up you can erase it. And then for the star, we're going to try to get that kind of right here. I want the whole star to show. That's not going to be quite right. That's why I said just do it lightly because until you get it exactly how you want it. So I think the star looks good on this one. And then we're going to come down here and make the rest of our tree. And this one was kind of a small branch, so we're just going to bring that in. And then let's see where this one ends, like right about here. I'm thinking. Let's see. So you kind of got to draw these in here because they just didn't finish these branches. So we'll make that part of the tree over there like that. And then we'll just bring this down. Hopefully we're going to get it right. And like I said, you can go over it, change it, whatever. Bring that down here. Just kind of curve that a little bit and bring it down to the bottom. So there, that will be the, hopefully you can see that, you'll have the whole tree traced out. So that's pretty much the only tricky part of these. Now to, to kind of define these letters, like I did on this one here, is I'm going to add some dots, but on this one I'm going to do white, um, because I think that's going to look nice. But that's how I kind of did these, so you can kind of divide up your letters, because they kind of all just run together otherwise. All right. So that is that. That's all you really got to do is get your tree and your star set. So for the star, I'm just going to paint with this. I'm not even going to pour this out because I don't need much of it. And I'm not going to make you guys watch me paint the whole thing. I'm just going to give you the idea of the, the colors that I'm doing. So I like this orange. or this orange. Why am I calling this orange? Yellow. Um, and it really doesn't matter because I'm going to be putting the gold... I don't know if I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to make it gold um, over top of it, the glitter. So I think that'll look good with this yellow. 
And then you got to make sure you get all your sides done. Now for the back, just like I did with the other one, the back I'm going to just do, you know, just a solid red. Just to finish it off a little bit. I'm not going to do all... I and mean, you could also do the detail on the back too if you want to. You know, do the tree and stuff if you're going to hang it like on a door or a window or something like that. So it looks nice from both sides, but I'm not doing that. And these are great because when they're finished, you can use these. You can set them on a shelf, you know, with some of your Christmas decorations or use them in the center of a wreath or just hang them up and they look really pretty. So let me get this. I can keep turning it here so I can see um, the star done. And then after I get done here, I'll go in between all these things. I want to get all these edges painted yellow. Um, on this side, so sorry, I gotta hold this up here to make sure I have this line straight. Uh, that looks pretty good. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to do two coats on this. Most of the time, this paint covers really well with just one coat, so I'll finish that up off camera. The star, I just kind of want to give you guys an idea. And then this green, I love this green color. It's just a really nice. Green. I really wanted a hunter green, but I just didn't have any. So this will work, I think, just fine. I'm not going to paint close to the star yet. I want to wait for that to dry so I don't um, ruin it. But this is the color that the um, tree is going to be. Just to give you an idea here. And we're just going to go down to our lines and get them all traced out nice. I kind of like to do that first. I think this, I'm just going to need one coat. I know that's green, and I know the red covers really well with just one coat. So, that's what we're going to do there. And then, of course, i got to get all down inside here and get that all painted green and whatnot. Sorry, I know i got to keep moving this because I can't see what I'm doing. I'm too far away. <laughs> All right, so let's see if I can get this from here. And like I said, I want to wait till that star dries because I don't want to pull any of that yellow down into my green. So we're just going to go ahead and paint this up. like so. I hope I don't stick my fingers in. I have a bad habit of like sticking my fingers right up into the wet paint. So we're going to try not to do that. Alright, so this will be the color of my tree. I love it. I'm just a big fan of this green color. Well, my hands are cooperating here this morning, so that's good. Alright, so that will be the color of the tree, and I'll finish that up off camera. And then I'm going to just need a tiny bit of this brown for the bottom of the tree here, the tree trunk. And again, I'm not going to go all the way up there because you really kind of need to let this dry in between, otherwise you end up running your colors together. But I'm just going to paint this whole thing, get it all down in here on the sides, and that will be that. So I'll come back and finish that off camera. And then I'm going to take a big brush to do the red. Until I get into here, then I'll probably have to switch over to a smaller brush. Um, but a bigger brush. Oh, I can't get this thing open. There we go. Like I said, I need so much paint and I just can't find it right now. I mean, they had some paints, but of course, you know, all the reds, the Christmassy colors have just kind of disappeared already. So, this you can go a lot faster with because, you know, you don't have any 
of the little details to worry about here because you're going to paint all of this red and all your sides and here. And I'm going to wait until I finish all of this because see how I got some brown on here. And I'm just going to do the back last and just paint that over with the red after everything dries good. But yeah, I really like this color. It's really pretty. It's a nice color and it covers really well. I always like to make sure my lines are all going in the same direction when I paint. And then you just got to get down in here. It's not really hard. It's just a little, it takes you a little time to get all this done. That's why I said I'm not going to make you guys watch me paint the whole thing because you guys get the idea. But yeah, so that's it. I'm just going to paint all these letters and when I get over here I'm probably going to get a smaller brush to go down, you know, to trace around the tree and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and finish painting all this in and then we're going to come back and decorate our tree and put on our dots. Alright, so everything's nice and dry now. I think it came out pretty decent. Um, I did the back in just the red. So now I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to paint over this star. I'm just going to use some of this tacky glue. You can get this at Dollar Tree too. Um, or you could use Mod Podge or whatever glue you happen to have just to put your glitter on. So I'm going to get some of this stuff out of my way. And I think I'm going to make the star with the gold glitter. But I can get this popped open. I don't even have this popped open. Let's see if I can pop this out real easy here. Nope. Okay, well I should have done this earlier. I didn't realize this was going to be this hard. Wow, that does not want to pop out of there. take it off and push it through. Nope, you can't get through the other end. Oh, I see. Well, that's weird. Alright, well... Let me see if I can get that piece out of there. There we go. See, none of it goes all the way through. Huh. Alright. Well, I will go and do the rest of those off camera because this is going to take a while. These are not coming out easy at all. It has a little line there where it looks like it would just pop right out, but it won't. All right, anyhow, we're not even going to use the lid. Forget it. I'll do that later. I don't know why I like that. I don't know if you guys can see, it has like a little mark there so they would just pop right out, but that's not happening. So we're just going to pour it right on there. That'll make my life easier. Alright, anyway, let's get going here. I'm just going to paint this up with some glue. I don't think I want it on the sides. I don't know, we'll see. glue here so it catches the glitter good. Alright. There. And I usually just put a piece of paper underneath when I do the glitter. So we're just going to pour that right on there. Just like that. Ta-da! I think that is lovely. I might have to go back in there with a dot of glue, though. Let me see if I can do that without totally messing this up. There we go. So there is the star. So let me bang this off here a little bit more. All right. And then I can just put this right back in my glitter drawer. Okay, so let me grab a different piece of paper so I don't get my glitters all messed up here. So that's just what we're going to do with these because those things are hard to get out. So I'm going to take some green, some red, some silver, and we're just going to put on a little 
Christmas balls. All right. So for that, what I'm going to use is this little scoring tool. I got these at Dollar Tree. I actually picked up another one because I love using these for different things. So I'm going to use, it has a small, you know, end with the ball on it and then a larger one. I'm going to use the larger one here. And I'm just going to dip it right in the Mod Podge and make a few little dots here and there. And we're going to make these look like our little Christmas ornaments. And we're just going to do them in different colors. And that's it. You just dip it in there and dot it on. I love this little tool. And that is what we're going to use too for, um, this is a pain kind of dumping all this on here right now, but I don't want to fight with those lids. Cover those real good. brush the rest of that off after this dries. Alright, so we're just going to dump that back in. Okay, so now we can switch over to, we're going to do the red. We're just going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to dot it here and there. I think I want a red one. There. And then we're going to add the red. Hopefully it doesn't stick to my silver ones too much. Oh, I love this. That is so stinking cute. Alright. Now, I don't know if, yeah, I'm going to put on some of the green, too. I might put on some gold. I don't know. Let me get this ready to go here. I love that green. It's so pretty. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I think I may add some of the gold. fun to do. I love pouring out glitter. The green and whoops, I am gonna put a little bit of that gold in here too. To light up our tree. Whoops. Got my paper back here. I think that's good. Oh, I think we need one out here on this branch. <clears throat> all right. I think that is all I'm going to do with that. I'm just going to pour that on there. Ta-da! Our tree is decorated. And that is it. That is all I'm going to do on that little tree. Okay, so that is it for the glitter. So now for our white dots, let's see, which white do I need to use? Um, I do have this cottage white. I think I'll use that. I'll stick with the chalk paint. I was going to use an acrylic for that, but um, I may as well stick with the chalk paint. I'll put that glue back too. 
Um, let's see. Let's stick some of that right in here. And this is where we're going to go ahead and um, do our letter definition here. All right. So I'm just going to do some of this here because this takes a little time too, and you guys will get the idea. So I'm going to use the wide end of this again. I need a paper towel to wipe this off. I love these tools. They're so easy just to clean up really fast. All right. So now I'm just going to take these dots. And I don't know if I'm going to put these as close together as I did on the other one. Um, but this just really makes it stand out. And you don't have to do this either. I mean, this is just something I like to do. It just kind of makes it pop a little bit. But I mean, you could probably edge it with something else if you wanted to try to go around it with some really thin, you know, ribbons of some sort or some kind of embellishment. Or like the strips of the gem stickers that they have at Dollar Tree. I know, I keep spinning, but I have to do this, sorry. Okay, so now for our P, and I don't want to stick my hand in all that glitter. We are going to just go around here and try to define this letter P. Let me start down here and go back up. So that kind of, let me have to go a little closer there, makes our P. And then we can just keep going around here. my P. I'm getting carried away. There we go. And then you can go around the inside too if you want to. I think I'm going to do that too. Um, just to kind of, see I almost stuck my finger right in that. Let's see. I'm going to do that too. I wasn't going to, but now I'm going to. So there you go. Always changing my mind. like that better with it around the insides too. So all you have to do now is like, you know, um, like over here for the E, you kind of got to, you know, pull out your C and stuff. And uh, I think that's going to have to come out maybe like to right there. And then we'll go down and make our C. And then the same thing up here. Um, I think this needs to come down like this, and then kind of curve into our C, so that'll define that. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish dotting these up. I'm just going to go around the edges and then on the inside too, and then we'll come back and see how this came out. All right, everyone, there it is all finished. Um, I'm gonna, I'll hang this up afterwards to take a picture of it to put at the end here of how it looks hanging up. But I just wanted to show it to you because it's still drying and I don't want to hang it up yet because I'm afraid some of my, like that one is running a little bit. So I don't want to stand it up. But this was just my idea. Um, I really like the Mary one much better with all the dots on it. But um, I figured I'd do this one the same just so they kind of matched a little bit. So where is my other one? I mean this one I did with the um, silver dots, but they kind of match a little bit. I didn't want to do this one. It may have looked better with the silver. I don't know. I just thought the white would really pop on here. Kind of make it look like it had lights without having lights with the glitter and the dots. But that was my idea for this sign, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody.